Hello everyone. Today in our class we are going to discuss about SRV WC parameters optimization. So let's discuss about single radio voice call continuity parameter optimization. So first there is a parameters as handover parameters. So within radio access network there are different threshold which will start stop measurements as events MR and actual trigger SRV double C handovers to GRAN or uterine events. So if SRV double C handovers are supported and allowed by both UE and the network, it is stored where these are stored. These are stored in HSS and MME. If we talk about various events, we can have A1, A2, B2, which are different events that the UE reports to E node B and this is based on threshold of RSRP and RSRQ values. UE will receive GRAN UTRAN measurement configuration so that it can activate and after that it sends like MR of the various events. For example, A2. A2 is an event which will trigger when RSRP is less than threshold. Voice over LTE calls which are still in the pre-phase, pre-phase is altering, alerting phase and it will enter the bad LTE coverage and it will totally drop if handover procedure is initiated. So threshold values for A1, A2, A1, V2 measurement it is adjusted by offset parameters. We are having some uh, timers, SRV, double C related timers. There is a specific set of timers that guard the procedures SRVC procedure in the E node B. The timer is related to like we can have preparation phase and execution phase. During the SRVC double C preparation phase, preparation phase is a phase from E node B sending the handover required to the receiving one. Here. The related timer is GSM WCDMA TS1 reloc preparation and GSM WCDMA TS1 reloc overall. These are the two timers and these timers are used to guard the failure so that the MME can respond back in a defined time. These are basically the supervision timers of the handover. Next is a SRV double C and B SRV double C. Typically, LT coverage needs to be maximized in order to have as many as UE in the LT network as long as possible. And so, reselection threshold from LT it should be set at a very low value. For example, minus of 124 dBm. Voice over LT performance needs to be good so that SRV CC threshold is typically relatively higher than threshold value which is minus 116 dpm. This uh, creates a problem where terminal can access a network and it can initiate a voice over LT call. That means when RSRP is below than SRV double C threshold. A SRV double C is alerting phase SRV double C. It means that Handover happened after the SIP 180 ringing has been received by the UE. While the terminating UE has not answered with OK, SIP 200 OK, which is a message. Alert phase may last several seconds. B SRV double C means that pre alert phase SRVCC for the ongoing leg. In case the function of these are not enabled, the UE cannot reselect to 3G and it can remain in the LT but cannot make any call. Operator has to avoid SRV double C occurring during ringing as much as possible. And what is the solution for that? Solution is that it has to expand the voltage area, which means SRV double C threshold, which is a B2 threshold, should be from minus of 116 dBm to positive of 118 dBm and should be set at a lower value. Now let's discuss about its failure, SRV double C failure. Outgoing SRV double C failure, they are supported by various messages like S1, 
access point UE context release command which is released from the MME which cause other than successful handover and in case of fail failure we can have this context release message we can have a reception of MR measurement reports for a carrier which is higher priority than one in the SR VCC handover preparation S1 AP reset received from the MME reception of MR event A1 leaving coverage alarm coverage area alarm these are type the alarms which we can receive in case of this failure what are the causes of this failure handover preparation failure so this is basically because of s1 access point ap handover preparation failure which is received from the mme ts1 reload prep handover from 2g 3g timer expiry rrc connection re-establishment ts1 reload overall timer expiry so these are some of the causes of the srvc failure thank you